Good evening. We are on Holy Trinity Sunday, the 30th of May. I'm going to be sharing daily meditations with the Holy Spirit. I'll begin with uh, a prayer for the Holy Trinity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is a prayer for Holy Trinity. Father, pour out your Spirit upon your people and grant us a new vision of your glory a new experience of your power a new faithfulness to your word and a new consecration to your service so that your love may grow among us and your kingdom come through Christ our Lord Amen Lord Jesus let your spirit rest upon our parishes schools and homes that they may be places of love and truth where the weak are made strong and the strong learn humility and all of us learn the wisdom that alone comes from you amen holy spirit comforter and sanctifier melt our hearts that we may accept your love renew our minds that we may know your truth. Strengthen our will, that we may follow you faithfully. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The reading for the 30th of May is taken from Sir 36, verse 15. Hear the prayers of your servants, for you are always gracious to your people. The reflection, all throughout the Old Testament, the prophets and sages celebrated the generosity of God to his people. We often count the cost of our commitment. God does not hold back. Is this the way we should act when we're asked to help others? When are we called to be prudent and careful? And when are we called to be outrageously generous? Holy Spirit, the prayer, Holy Spirit, guide me to treat others as you wish them to be treated. Amen. Well, today my baby brother, well, next one under me, I've got another one under him, he is celebrating a birthday and I didn't know what to do because of many reasons. Um, I did send him a card and then I thought, I'll have a Mass said for him because I love it when people have Masses said for me. It's so special, so special. So today when I got to Mass, I was the reader and I said to Elizabeth, oh, who, who's the Mass intention for? She said, well, you should know. Oh, I had forgotten because I'd a, a while ahead said, you know, on that day, because I was reading that I would like a Mass said for my brother. And of course the priest announced it for the intentions of my brother. I was happy. And then I thought, I rang him up and I had a chat and forgot to mention that I'd had the mass said for him. So I rang him back. He'd got 17 of his family there the first time since 2019. It was, they're having a whale of a time. This is in, in um, oh, where the Lake District is there, yeah. So anyway, I told him 
that I'd had a mass. Oh, he said, I've never in all my life had a mass, said to me. It was quite true. So I said, well, when you're ill, I'll have another one, said. And if you die, I'll have one. I said, but that's only if you die for me. So it did, you know, yes. So, no, we have to be generous in spirit. There's all kinds of ways that you can be generous to people. But of course, the guidance of the Holy Spirit in everything, but I think sharing your faith and encouraging others is what God would like us to do. Because God is love. God himself is love. He created us because of love, because he loves so much. He didn't need to create us, but he did. And he loved his son Jesus so much, and his son loved him back, and the go-between was the Holy Spirit. But of course, we can't understand that mystery, even if St. Augustine couldn't and gave up, so should we. We should just accept the love of God, which is offered to us. And it is free, and we should share God's love. That's the best treasure, is to share God's love with others. God bless you. Have a wonderful bank holiday weekend. I'm sending you healing prayers and peace in abundance, the peace of Jesus Christ, beyond all understanding, and may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And thank you so much for listening.